My quest begins in the Bahamas with the Reef Shark, known for attacking divers throughout the Caribbean. I'll offer up my entire body as I descend to the bottom to swim amongst dozens of hungry Caribbean reef sharks. The reef shark grabs prey at the side of the mouth and then devours it with a sideways snap of its jaw. While many scientists consider this species docile, in competitive feeding situations, these sharks can easily become dangerous, quickly turning a casual dive into a life-threatening situation. Okay, let's go. Hang on. A thin metal suit won't stop a 10-foot reef shark from ripping my arm right out of its socket. The shark's world down there, not mine. Our plan is to take this crate of fish carcasses down to the bow of a sunken ship 50 feet below the surface and find out if when reef sharks are feeding, are humans on the menu. As we descend, the sharks swarm behind us. They can smell the blood in the water. Stuart begins the hand feeding and the sharks immediately begin to swim faster, twisting, biting, and jockeying their way in for a chance to take the bait. Time after time, I spot a lone shark out of the corner of my eye, heading straight for me like he's on a mission driven by the frenzy itself. These sharks are like a swarm of hornets, knowing exactly what they want. Stuart has shown me how. Now it's my turn. Feeding with the spear is working, but now, a little overconfident, I decide to feed by hand. Big mistake. I didn't see that shark come in and make a quick turn to grab the fish, and in an instant, he's got my hand. For a few shocking seconds, I'm filled with pure fear. Getting pulled away by this shark is a mauling even Stewart won't be able to stop. But he was right. A quick punch is all it takes to drive the shark away. The chainmail suit will at least keep all my fingers in place. Having learned a lesson the hard way, I've decided to finish off the last of the bait using the spear. Suddenly, our cameraman is in trouble. Fortunately, he's wearing a chainmail suit as well or else he could have lost an arm. Take a second look at the footage. The attack on our cameraman appears to be a case of mistaken identity. The shark made an aggressive move towards the bait, and the cameraman found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time. Thankfully, we're all okay, and we're out of bait. Determining the feeding habits of reef sharks and how to stay off their menu led me into this dangerous situation. A shark has actually bitten through the chain mail and down to the bone on the knuckles of my left hand. <laughs> ah, that's so totally rated as the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. You did great, man. Oh, man.